Hello friends, this video on water part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when, when we are talking about conserving water, a very interesting concept is rain water harvesting. That is how we can utilize rain water for various purposes. So what is rainwater harvesting? It is collecting rainwater to be used later for various purposes. Now when we say various purposes, it could be for cooking, for washing clothes, for bathing, for cleaning, so variety of purposes. Now when it rains, we get a lot of water. A lot of water gets collected on our rooftops, yeah, a lot of water falls on uh, the, in the balconies of our houses everywhere. And what happens to that water? It gradually gets into the drain, nearby drains, from there it goes into the river and then again indirectly we receive the same water. So instead of doing that, how would it be if we directly store that rainwater? We directly store it in our houses and then we use the same water, we filter it, we clean it and then we use the same water directly for so many purposes. So in that case, Unnecessarily, we do not need to do all this indirect process to get the same water back from rivers. Right? So it, it's a very simple thing that is being done. So what we do is we keep a storage tank, we design a storage tank and then we ensure that all the water that falls on the roof of our houses, they get collected in that tank. So that rainwater gets collected and then that rainwater is cleaned, purified and then stored there. Now, as and when it is needed, that is supplied to the taps of our houses. So that's such a nice way of utilizing the rainwater directly. So this is how it works. So let's say this is your building. This is the roof of your building. So what you have is now when, when it rains, so water flows from the cemented area of the rooftop to this rainwater storage tank. So you have a set of pipelines which are arranged in a specific way so that what whenever it rains here, so the water will pass through these pipes and it will get stored in this rainwater storage. So you have a big tank here to store the rainwater. Now from here it again passes through another tank and then you have some arrangement where you have a filter. So this filter will remove sand or any other dirt or dust which is present in the water to make the water usable for daily activities. And then water after a certain level is allowed to flow freely into the soil. So then this water passes to the main tank. So then you have the main tank. So if you see here from the main tank there are two exits. There is one exit this, there is another exit this which is connected to the pump. So certain amount of water flows into the soil. So when you are allowing water to pass into the soil, so that water is basically being stored as groundwater, which is again equally important for us. So that next time when we dig a well in the nearby area, we get some water. So that means you will increase the groundwater level. But a minimum level of water is maintained in the tank. So whenever, let's say you said that, okay, I have let, just an example. Let's say you want that, okay, uh, I'll keep x liters or let's say 500 liters of water should be present in the main tank. So when whatever excess amount of water you have after this 500 liters, all that will get into the soil. So they will be allowed to pass into the soil. So there is a bulb which is attached here. So you have a bulb here which allows water to pass from the main tank into the soil but it doesn't allow soil to pass into the main tank. So for that purpose you have a valve so that it allows only unidirectional, only flow of water in one direction, not in both directions. So that's how you maintain clean water storage in the main tank. So anytime you have some amount of water, usable water rather, in the main tank. So now this usable water is taken up by the pump and then it is it comes to our kitchen, bathrooms as and when needed. So even if it is an apartment, let's say it's a 10 story building. So the pump is able to pump the water till the 10th floor, 9th floor, 1st floor, 2nd floor, everywhere. So this is an excellent way by which you can directly use rainwater for a lot of uh, your day to day activities. Now the question is why rainwater harvesting? Why do we need to do this? Because the rainwater otherwise, if we don't do this, then what happens to the rainwater? 
it passes through the drains into the rivers and lakes so and then what happens again indirectly we receive the same water from the rivers and lakes so why do we want to do so much of complex I mean, complex thing so let's directly try use the rain water moreover in rural areas it is a very difficult at least in the urban areas you have basins in your home you have taps in your home so it's, water is very easily accessible but when if you go to the rural areas small towns it is very difficult to get water in from rivers for household purposes fetching water becomes a very tedious task so many people manually do it so they carry their buckets to the river and then they carry water to their home so water gets dirty it's a long process there is a long process which is involved to clean the water so that means it is not a very uh, wise decision to let the rain water flow into the drains to rivers and lakes so rain water harvesting has its own advantages and disadvantages so in terms of advantage it is very easy and affordable not very high maintenance cost maintains high ground water level because we allow some amount of water to flow into the soil so that means we are also increasing the level of ground water which is indirectly going to help us in terms of these advantages uh, it is restricted to rainfall which is uncertain so as i said that rainfall is very frequent during monsoons but not during summers so in summers rainwater harvesting is not going to be of any use regular maintenance needed else can result in mosquitoes now the water that is being stored in the tanks those the tanks need to be cleaned on a regular basis otherwise stagnant water might lead to a mosquito and mosquitoes can result in diseases so that is these are uh, some of the disadvantages so it is very important that cleanliness need to be taken care however there is a one time installation cost involved for rain water harvesting but uh, otherwise the maintenance cost is not that high and this is extremely beneficial for agriculture household purposes as well as industrial purposes thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again